Well, Frank, where there's smoke, there's fire. Hi everyone, in this video we're going to look at some very common English proverbs. A proverb is a short statement that gives advice or expresses a belief that many people think is true. Most expressions that are considered proverbs have existed for quite a long time. Before we start, remember that you can also follow me on social media, and if you're interested in signing up for my free advanced English email lessons, you'll find the link in the description. The first one is beggars can't be choosers. A beggar is a poor person who asks people for money or food, normally in the street. Chooser isn't actually a very common word, but I think the meaning is quite obvious. It's simply a person who chooses something. People say this if they recognize that they need to accept something because it is the only option available to them. It's when somebody isn't in a position to be fussy. For example, if somebody is really desperate for a job, they might say, the job isn't very well paid, but I accepted it because beggars can't be choosers. Another example, this isn't my dream car, but it's all I can afford and beggars can't be choosers. The second one is, the grass is always greener on the other side of the fence. This is sometimes shortened to the grass is always greener on the other side. And most of the time we shorten it even more and we just say, the grass is always greener. This means that a different situation might seem better than the one you're currently in, but it probably isn't better. And here's a visual representation. This cow seems to think that the grass on the other side of the barbed wire fence is better than the grass on its side. For example, you might say, I wish I had Mary's job. She's always traveling so much. And then someone could say to you, yes, but her job's probably quite stressful and she may wish she had a job similar to yours. The grass is always greener. The next one is, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Here, ain't means is not. Another thing to be aware of is that broke in this sentence is grammatically incorrect. It should be broken, but in this proverb, we always say broke. So this sentence means, if it isn't broken, don't fix it. This means that if something is working well, there is no need to change it. For example, in a workplace, someone could say, why is the new manager changing everything? The old systems worked just fine. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. I don't know about you, but I sometimes have this feeling with computer programs or websites when they make unnecessary updates like Skype, for example. They keep changing things and it's annoying. And now we have a journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. This apparently comes from a Chinese proverb. I think the meaning is quite obvious. It means that even big, overwhelming tasks have a starting point. It's often used to encourage people who are afraid of starting something because it's overwhelming. It's a bit like saying you need to start somewhere or just start by doing something small. For example, if somebody wants to learn a language and they're scared to start, you could say, well, a journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. You could start by watching YouTube videos for beginners or looking for a teacher, or learning some basic grammar. I think you get the idea. This one is, people who live in glass houses shouldn't throw stones. You can also say, 
people in glass houses shouldn't throw stones. This basically means don't be a hypocrite. In other words, you shouldn't criticize people for having faults that you have or for doing things that you do. Sometimes we shorten this and we just say something like, well, people in glass houses. Or we might say, you know what they say about people in glass houses. For example, if Frank says that Ethel was drinking too much at the party, I could say to him, well, Frank, you know what they say about people in glass houses. The next one is practice makes perfect. I think the meaning of this is pretty obvious. It simply means the more you practice something, the better you will get. It doesn't mean you'll learn to do something 100% perfectly. For example, nobody, not even native speakers, speak a language perfectly because everybody makes mistakes sometimes. But generally speaking, if you practice something, you will become better at it. If Frank is complaining because he keeps falling off his skateboard, I could say, well, Frank, practice makes perfect. Or if George says that he finds it hard to ignore marketing people in the street, I could say, well, George, practice makes perfect. George is a bit too polite sometimes. And now we have time is money. This means that time is a valuable resource, so we shouldn't waste it. People usually say it if they want somebody to hurry up, particularly in a business context. For example, if you're at work and you're mucking around with your colleagues, your boss might come by and say, come on guys, time is money. This one is, two heads are better than one. This means that two people working together to solve a problem will be more effective than one person working alone. For example, if you're looking at a financial document and it's a bit confusing, you might say to a family member, I don't really understand this. Could you have a look at it with me? Two heads are better than one. I think this statement's true, except if it's a university group assignment then you should just do it yourself. The next one is waste not, want not. This one means that if you don't waste things, you will always have enough. Here, want actually means lack. It's a little formal and old fashioned to use want like this, but people sometimes still use it that way. So this proverb means if you're not wasteful, you won't lack things. For example, you could say, I always save leftover food for later because waste not, want not. Obviously, if you're not frequently throwing away food, you will save money. It's also better for the environment. The next one is, a watched pot never boils. This one is essentially about impatience. You know how sometimes you might put some water in a pot and then put it on the stove and you need to wait for the water to boil before you can put food in it, so you stand there watching it and it seems to take forever? Well, that's the idea in this proverb. It means that if you're impatient for something to happen, it will seem to take longer. Something that I think a lot of people can relate to is sending a message to somebody who you're interested in romantically. You might then check your phone constantly to see if they've replied. If you're doing that, someone might say to you, a watched pot never boils. This one is, where there's smoke, there's fire. This means that if something bad is being said about something or someone or if rumors are being spread, there's probably an element of truth there. It might not be entirely true, but it's probably partly true. 
For example, if there's a rumour going around that Frank caused some arguments in a bar and he says that none of it happened, I could say, well, Frank, where there's smoke, there's fire. The last one is, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make it drink. This one means that you can give somebody the opportunity to do something, but you can't force them to do it if they don't want to. Normally, we just say, you can only lead a horse to water. Sometimes teachers think this when they're in a classroom. For example, if you give your students very simple homework, or if you make suggestions on how they could perhaps improve their skills, and then they don't do it, you could say, you can only lead a horse to water. I hope you're not one of those students. Another example is if somebody hosts a party with food and they put out knives and forks, but then people like me just eat with their fingers, that person could say, you can only lead a horse to water. I hope you found that helpful. I hope you learned something. If you did, please hit the thumbs up. Let me know in the comments if any of these proverbs exist in your language or if there are any close equivalents. Thanks very much for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Want not. Keep left. Sometimes we live at... Uh, the